Welcome to Bits of History. My name is Lee Pulaski, President of the Resurrection Bay Historical Society. This bit of history remembers Edwin Blair, a talented artist and active member of the community for many years. Alice Evelyn Blair was born April 30, 1913 in Seattle. As she grew up, she studied with various, art, various artists in Seattle to develop her talent. She and her husband Tom moved to Seward in 1940. He worked for the Alaska Railroad. They lived in Seward for 34 years. Their son Mike was born and raised in Seward. Mrs. Blair worked at a variety of occupations in Seward. She was employed as a telephone operator for the Army during World War II and worked for the Alaska Railroad for a year as a clerk typist. She was one of only a few florists in Seward from the mid-40s to the 1960s, and she gave piano lessons. She was active in the Seward Concert Association, designing several program covers for the Alaska Music Trail concerts. She helped found the Petticoat Gazette, a local newspaper put out by the Seward Business and Professional Women's Club, and served on the library board. In the early 1940s, she enjoyed working with Judge Joseph Kehoe, a fellow artist, who has been described as one of the best watercolors that the territory produced. Mrs. Blair remembered one evening in 1944, Judge Kehoe and I sat across the table from each other. We both made a copy of a Winslow Homer watercolor. He gave me his copy, I gave him mine. Over the years, Evelyn Blair became a well-known artist, exhibiting her work in art shows throughout Alaska. She served on the Governor's Council for the Arts for two years. In 1971, her watercolor painting of the Kenai Burn was added to the Alaska State Museum's permanent collection. The painting had previously been displayed throughout the state in the Purchase Centennial Art Exhibit during 1967. What is probably Mrs. Blair's largest work is on display at the Seward Museum, a five by nine foot seascape of Resurrection Bay. Its origin is reported in an article in the August 1, 1963 Petticoat Gazette. The newest addition to Seward's art creations is a large mural which hangs on the south wall of Gill's Lounge, now Thorne's Showcase Lounge. Dorothy Johnson, who operates the lounge, commissioned Evelyn Blair to paint the mural, a seascape of Resurrection Bay and its islands, in oil on plywood, highlighted with white fluorescent paint. Is very effective shown under an ultraviolet light. Mrs. Blair took three months to complete the job, one month of research and two months actual painting time. In 1974, after Mr. Blair retired from the Alaska Railroad, they moved to Ventura, California. Evelyn died December 5, 1990. Her paintings and watercolors, which hang in many homes in Seward and other towns in Alaska, or a lasting memorial to this talented, modest, and witty lady. Thank you for watching this bit of history. We will finish by showing a selection of drawings and paintings of Evelyn Blair from the art collections of the Seward Museum and the Seward Community Library.